We are back in England. How does it feel to be back in England? It's pretty weird. It kind of feels like we never went away. A year and a half, it's got a load of extra stuff in my bag. And I'm just here, and I'm a normal person in part of society. When you're away, you kind of, you take for granted home and how nice it is and how it will always be there. So we've decided that now that we are here, we're going to make the most of it and we're going to actually try and get out, see what's in our own backyard, not have to spend that much money doing it. You just kind of assume that it's, because it's home, it's easy, it's always going to be there, that it's a bit shit, especially post-Brexit. We travel much faster than we can edit. So I've got a lot of videos to, um, to do from a number of different countries that um, we've got backed up. So over the next few months, we'll be releasing those. We're in a place called West Sussex, which is kind of in between Brighton and London. It's where Emma's from. At least I'm breathing. I know it took a while. Been looking for a sweet song, a sign. Waiting for a reason to laugh, to sing Cause I've been spending all my time to figure out just how So what's the best thing about being home? The food, obviously. <laughs> so when we were away, we were in Canada and America. Love you guys, but your food isn't so good. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it. Your cheese is abysmal. In Europe, we have so much good cheese, and I'm pretty sure I've eaten cheese every day since I've been here, which isn't so great with, for the waistline, but I'm pretty happy with it. Um, roast dinners, awesome. Home cooked by my mum, delicious. Bread without sugar in it. The States, again, sugary bread, what's that about? Um, places like India, the food's incredible, but when you're sick and you've had deli belly for two weeks, the last thing you want to eat is curry. <laughs> Plain delicious English food. Because a lot of people say English food's rubbish, but I really like it, especially a roast dinner. Okay, we're actually now coming up to my secret spot. Ooh. And uh, she doesn't know, but I do because I've seen it. <laughs> With your eyes. But the problem is that it's very difficult to get through. So I think we're gonna have to, this is probably the best place to go through here. Um, that way? Yeah, you have to go through this. Oh. Oh, what do you think I about? I get stung by stinging nettles. I'm going to complain to you for the whole of the day. Okay, well we're about to get here now. So Emma, yeah. there is our secret spot. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. What is it? It's a pond with ducks and everything. It's a duck paradise. Emma, what do you think? I love it. It's so nice. You have all the ducks here in the pond. And I had no idea this was even here. It looks as if nobody else has ever been here either. It's nowhere near the, the path, so. And whenever you travel anywhere else in the world, it's the same. As long as you go off the beaten path and you explore a little bit, speak to the locals, you can find some really nice spots. You try it. No, but that's guaranteed YouTube views. Oh yeah. YouTube Little views. guys on camera was eating wild mushrooms. Yeah, and then I'll live off the profits. <laughs> as long as you're living, that's fine. Eat it. There's a pheasant over there. I've seen squirrels, I've seen ducks, and now a pheasant is such an English rubbish animal. There's one over there, but I don't think you're going to get to see it, so you have to take my word for it. There's a pheasant and it's lovely. If you run over there, you'll spook it and it'll, it'll yeah? fly off. Yeah. I'll follow you. Animals want to be disturbed. It's one of the rules. By humans, especially. Yeah, yeah. Obnoxious, <laughs> loud humans. So I've just come back from America, so I'm feeling really obnoxious and loud. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try and scare this animal. At least I haven't got a gun and I'm not hunter. <laughs> Are you sure you saw a pheasant? I did see a pheasant, but this took so many takes 
that when I first started filming there was a pheasant, but by the time five minutes later when I actually filmed something that I liked, the pheasant had long gone. So I'm sorry. That's a pathetic a excuse. That is pathetic. What's that a pathetic excuse? Is because it, it was only excuse? one take, mate. Okay, so I'm trying to make okay. out okay. that we're really professional. You've had various takes. We're just playing the camera and just making it up as we go along. You know that we are. Fine, it was one take, <laughs> but I don't know where it went. So I'm trying to make the reason why it went. Leave me alone. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did you go in the puddle? I just fell in that puddle there. Oh dear. I'll stop filming! What happened? What's wrong with you? Drama's good. People oh. want to see drama. They don't want to see us having a nice time. Drama? They don't want to see us have a nice time. Ow! What happened? I tripped over something and it scraped the back of my leg. I'm not made for this. See? I know that if I put the camera on you, that you'll react better to the injury, otherwise you'll be really angry and annoyed and probably take it out on me, but if I have the camera, you're usually pretty nice because you know people are going to see this. Oh, you're fine then, you can run. We can still see you. Oh, now you're gone. So, Al's got a soggy foot, I have a grazed leg, moral of the story is, don't explore. Stay at home, watch YouTube. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, subscribe. For the people that have subscribed, I'm really sorry that the stuff that we make isn't really that good. But keep watching and it might get better. <laughs> Maybe. There's always a chance. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Rate this game. <gasps> One out of ten. Ten. <laughs> Rate how drunk you are. No, 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 the game is a whole. Not ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs>